What's up, Money Maker Tribe? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Avi, and hello if you're new. I want to talk to you about a phenomenon that has been happening lately called the short squeeze. The squeeze. We're gonna look at a stock that was squeezed really badly. <laughs> oh, it sounds terrible. <laughs> that was squeezed really badly. And we're going to talk about what happened there, why it happened, and we're going to look at these stocks and see what's happening. So uh, if you haven't joined the Moneymaker Tribe yet, we're almost at 4,000 uh, Tribe members. So all you got to do is push the subscribe button. You could be the 4,000 subscriber. And ring the bell if you want to get notifications about videos that drop. Really important, guys. Sometimes we talk about stocks and they go up 50, 100%. So really important to ring the bell. And if you enjoy this video, please smash, 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 smash the like button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting the channel out there. So if you want the tribe to grow, just smash the like button. Also, I have some affiliate links down below. Check them out. It helps out me. It helps out the channel. Win-win situation if you needed these products anyway or any other products from Amazon, for instance. Okay, so the stock that I want to talk to you about is called GameStop. If you don't know, GameStop is a, is a, a retail uh, store that has games like in the name and usually you would go there and you would play the video games and you'd uh, have a great time right it's a really fun store but what happened is uh, the game industry started moving on more online right you have stream that you can order games for the PC and you have Xbox and PlayStation where you can get a, 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 a download a key right and download these games so uh, the physical store has kind of become a, a, a place that not many people go anymore for uh, games, right? For video games. And the stock had got into a really bad situation. You can see here, it was around a low, it had a low of 2.57 uh, around uh, May, uh, April, sorry. And uh, what happened is it got really, really shorted. A lot of people just love shorting this stock and they kept shorting it and shorting it and shorting it and shorting it. And what happened is they changed their uh, CEO, right? And the PlayStation 5 and new Xbox came out and this was the real turning point because it was really hard to get the PlayStation and the Xbox before Christmas you could it was really hard to find them it was really crazy everybody wanted the new new consoles and the sales at GameStop started booming because they weren't selling online it was really hard to find and the stock and the company just had a lot of sales right and what happened is a few days ago this was on the 13th so this was four days ago last week the stock just popped around 50 percent i think they had a high from 20 all the way up to 38.55 so almost a hundred percent gain in one day guys wow for a stock that was just two dollars a few months ago it was now at 40 dollars. so that was a crazy day and why did this happen so what is a short basically a short is opposite of buying, right? When you go to buy a stock, you go to your broker and you say, okay, Mr. Broker, I want to buy uh, 100 shares of GameStop. So your broker goes and, and he looks and he says, okay, what is the price that you are willing to pay? You say, I want to pay $10. Okay, so he goes out to the market and he sees, is there anybody that's willing to sell the shares at $10? And if there's someone that's willing to sell the shares at $10, then he uh, buys the shares from that person and puts it in your brokerage account, right? Easy. What is a short? A short is the opposite. So what does the person do? He doesn't own any shares. He goes and he says to the brokerage, listen, I want to short 100 shares of GameStop. So I want to, so what does he basically do? He, the brokerage goes and he says, okay, I have a person in my brokerage or uh, in uh, the brokerage world that owns GameStop stock. I'm going to borrow from his portfolio 100 shares and give them to you at the specific price uh, that you're putting in, right? When you decide to close your short position, you're going to have to buy back stocks, return the 100 shares to me, and I'll put the shares back in that person's uh, portfolio and they don't know the difference it's like it's always been there right so let's say this person the stock is currently at 10 so he is 
uh, buying these shares, right? At uh, is uh, sorry, shorting these shares at ten, right? If the stock goes up, let's say to twenty, so he has to buy back at twenty, and he lost ten dollars per share. But if the share goes down, let's say to five, so he gained five dollars right because he shorted it at ten it's currently at five so he needs to pay five dollars to get uh, the shares back from a different person to return to the brokerage so that's how basically shorts will make money um, betting that the stock will go down there's other ways to bet this the stock will go down there it's called puts but we'll get to that in a different video because this video is already getting a little bit long so what happens in a short squeeze well when a stock starts going up a lot then the brokerages start calling the people and say hey people shorters <laughs> the stock is going up really really uh, a lot and i don't want to take the risk of you not able to repay the the short right because the more that the stock goes up and up and up you're going to have to close out the short you're going to have to buy these shares back right and usually the brokerage will give you a credit line so when your credit line starts getting uh, uh small right the brokerage will call you up and say hey listen man you don't have any money left i need you to close out your short and what is going to happen is uh, they're, they're going to say to you, you have two options, either try to find shares by yourself or I'm going to do it for you. And what they're going to do is just put in a market order and the, the best price that they can get is going to get uh, filled. So what happens is people know that this is going on, that the stock is very shorted because you can find the information how many shares are shorted currently. And what they'll do is they'll put a sell order really high up and then these brokerages are closing the orders and putting these market orders in and you might get a, a, a buy at uh, maybe 10, 15, 20% higher than the current price. And this is what made this stock jump up so much. So now I want uh, to move over to uh, Jim Cramer. He talked about this uh, as well. And we're gonna, I see we're already getting a little bit long, so we'll watch a little bit less than I, I anticipated uh, from Jim Cramer because he, he shares a story about how this happened to him when he was working as a broker. So it's very interesting, and uh, let's watch it. Sorry, guys, if this takes me a second, I'm doing this without editing, so. Oh. <laughs> my microphone sorry guys if it's taking me a second i'm doing this without editing so uh, uh bear with me please it's called the busting of the short sellers that's right there are individuals who are banding together and they are busting the short sellers we're seeing short squeezes after short squeezes after short squeezes some of them have generating such major gains that i'm talking ah. about yes take game stock bed bath and beyond last two days let's talk I don't normally discuss these issues. Uh, I, I don't like to talk about a short squeeze. It's not investable. I don't want to encourage it. It has to do with the mechanics of money management. You know short sellers bet against stocks, right? They want them to go lower. The way they do that is by borrowing shares from the vault of a brokerage. Then they sell those shares with a plan to buy them back later, hopefully at a lower price. The key here is that those borrowed shares must be found and be returned. Most of the time, the system works. Works well. But periodically, and more than ever right now, you get a situation where so many people have shorted a stock that they can't locate shares to return them to the real buyers. When that happens, you end up paying a fortune to close out your position sometimes. Your broker will do it for you if you can't do it yourself. It's a nightmare. I've been caught in a short squeeze when I was at my hedge fund about 30 years ago. I bet against a bunch of banks that everyone hated at the time. It was during the savings and loans crisis. In particular, I would shorted uh, shares in a bank headquarter right here in Rutherford, New Jersey. Unfortunately, so many other people had shorted it, too, that my broker called me one night and said, hey, listen, unless I found stock to return to him, he'd just buy it back and close out my position in the open market at any price he wanted. I couldn't find any shares. So they bought back the stock that night at a massive premium to where it was actually trading twice, twice the level. Now, there's a short squeeze. The funny thing, the bank I was shorting, it went bust not long after. But because I couldn't locate any shares, what would have been a huge win turned into a gigantic loss for me? When you short a stock, you're always on the hook to your broker, and sometimes that blows up right in your face. And right now, it is blowing up in somebody's face big time. 
Yes, I am seeing sore squeezes all over the place. In many cases, they are actually being orchestrated by motivated young stock buyers who are explicitly trying to crush the shorts using websites that, frankly, are a lot of fun, but I think are encouraging people to do something that I hope they continue to make money on. They may not. And that brings me to GameStop, the troubled video game retailer. Yeah, so now he's going to talk about GameStop as well. So you already heard about GameStop. I just want to jump back to the graph and see that we had another day that went up and the high was 43 and we finished out um, 35.50, so down 11%. So what probably happened was people were taking profits after this huge, huge <laughs> run. It's just it's this, these juicy candles are amazing, guys. <laughs> So that's it. I hope you uh, learned a little bit about shorts and about short squeezes. And you'll think a little bit about do before you're doing shorts, uh, you'll think about the possibility that you might be squeezed. And on the flip side, uh, maybe in uh, opening a position in a stock like this that could be squeezed. This happened also in Tesla, right? Tesla was the most shorted uh, stock last year. And it just got squeezed and squeezed and squeezed. And it went up uh, that amazing run last year. And it was a lot because of these people that were shorting it. People kept betting against Tesla, betting against Tesla. And in the end, they got lost, uh, I think, an amazing amount of money. I don't remember the number, but it's like a huge amount of money. I think it was more than like the all the airlines valuation or something. I don't know. It was a crazy number. So think about it before you want to uh, short, <laughs> short a stock. I want to remember, remind you guys that everything we talked about in this video is only for educational purposes and entertainment purposes. I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not a money manager, and you should always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest in any stock. I hope you're still with us. Uh, that was a long, a long video with uh, Jim Cramer also talking. And if you're still with us and you're not part of the Moneymaker Tribe yet and you want to be the 4,000 subscriber, all you got to do is push the subscribe button. Ring the bell so you get the notifications and smash the like button, guys. Remember, smash, 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 smash. I hope to see you in the next video. And like I always say, let's make some money.